Well, hi, welcome to Thankful in Advent, December the 2nd. I'm reading from Isaiah 9, verses 2 through to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. You know, there are those who like to declare that planet Earth is going to hell in a handbasket. That somehow this world that we inhabit is getting more darker, more twisted, more evil. I object. What we fail to recognise is, is that we have more access to news and information than we have had at any point in human history. The reality is that we hear more bad news than any generation that has gone before us. But that doesn't actually mean the world is getting more evil. There's part of me that that believes it's impossible for the world to become more evil. And that's because evil by its very nature is destructive and regressive. It's not creative and progressive. Your Hitlers and your Stalins are no more, just like the Assyrians and the Babylonians and every despot and every crackpot who came before them. The reality is the nature of evil, its destructive and its regressive manner, is responsible for destroying all of them who were evil in the first place. Set against this backdrop of darkness, and oh by the way I do believe the world is in darkness, is set the glorious light of the Advent story. Goodness is creative and progressive. The Messiah Jesus walks a journey from childhood through sonship until eventually he is described as the everlasting father. And you know, wherever darkness is celebrated, there is no doubt that somehow it becomes thicker. However, the Advent story reminds us that wherever light has broken in, it continually burns brighter and longer. And as each new soul or sphere of society or nation is impacted by Jesus, there is this ongoing experience of the increase of his government and his shalom, his peace. We can be thankful in Advent because the Advent story proclaims to us of the increase of his kingdom. There is no end. And that kingdom is characterised by the eternal, ongoing, exponential increase of his godly, loving, gracious government and his totally brain-baffling peace. Who wouldn't want a king like Jesus? And so I appeal to you today, let's just carve out some time and invite the king in with his government that will bring us the true shalom, the true peace that all of us have been longing for in this deeply disturbing and dark year.